Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the Mr. Fix-It channel. Got the cross card in the shop and I'm going to do some work on the brakes. Stay tuned. I was sitting out there in the shed one evening not doing too much of nothing, just kind of staring at the wall. And... So in a previous episode, I installed dual piston front brakes on this buggy and ever since then I've had a spongy brake pedal. Well, in order to fix that, what I'm going to do is I, I have a dual piston master cylinder when I first installed this, I was wanting to uh, bias the front and rear brakes, but my pedal was so stiff it was really hard to push, so I ended up just using one of the pistons in this master cylinder. So, since I installed the dual piston calipers, I got a spongy pedal, so I believe if I hook up both of these pistons, I'll be able to stiffen up my brake pedal. Well, that being said, I also have a brake light switch right here, which I wasn't able to utilize, so once I get the brakes installed on both pistons, I should be able to utilize this rear brake light. All right, got that all sorted out. Brake pedal is much better now. Now let's move on to the tail light. So this is the brake light that I'm going to use. This is an LED strip. Since I installed headlights on this, it'd be nice to have a tail light along with my brake light. So that being said, there's only two wires coming out of this, so there's only one intensity of these bulbs. I would like to install this, so here's the spoiler, I would like to install this light something like up in here, something like that. But since there's only one circuit in this, I won't be able to have like a low intensity for the tail light and a high intensity for the brake light. So there's, there's a way that I can get around this without having to have two light fixtures. So if I hook the negative and positive up to this light, you can see I have just one intensity, that's all I have. Now in order to have two, what I can do is I can add a resistor. Now this resistor, according to the bands on here, so if you can read this, this is a chart to tell you what the ring color code is on these resistors. Uh oh, what I do with that tiny little resistor? Shit, there it is. If you see on this resistor, those color bands there. Now, if you if you read the bands using this chart, it says this is a 10 ohm resistor. So I'm just going to take my meter and I'm just going to measure the resistance just to confirm that. It's kind of hard to do with this tiny thing. Okay, you can see I got 10 ohms of resistance. Now if I take this little resistor and I wire it in in series with this light, okay? Now you can see the light's lit there. Now I've got another lead run into the battery. I'm just gonna bypass the resistor. Now you can see I have two different intensities here. Let me uh, dull the light so you can see what I'm talking about. So I'm gonna connect the, the other lead and bypass the resistor. You can see the light gets brighter. The only problem is, is there's not much of a difference there. You're not really going to be able to tell when I'm hitting the brake. It kind of just looks like a dull flicker. So that being said, how will I know what resistor to buy in order to make this light dim? Well, to answer that question, what I have here is a potentiometer. If I take this resistor out of the circuit and I connect this potentiometer, Let me dull the lights again. Okay, you can see I can I can turn the lights up and I can turn the lights down. So that flickering is just a result of this potentiometer. Now again, if I take my separate lead here and I bypass this, you can see I have a clear definition between, let's well, see, that would be tail light and that would be brake. So now what I can do is now that I have my resistor set to the brightness I want, I can take and measure the reading of this potentiometer And that's telling me that I need a 200 ohm resistor in order to get those two different levels of intensity. So I just need to order a 200 ohm resistor and wire that in series and I can use the same fixture and have that only has one circuit and have two separate light intensities. So this gives me an easy way to determine what size resistor I need for this light circuit. I hope that makes sense. I tried my best to explain it. All right, I'm just testing this circuit out. I got my resistor right here. Uh, this bulb is going to mimic my headlight. This bulb is going to mimic my tail light. And if I turn the switch on, 
You can see I got a headlight and tail light. Now this is going to simulate my brake light here, so if I touch it, I got to be on the other side of this resistor. So you can see here I have brake light. But the problem is when I turn the headlight off, and I go to brake light, it's going to energize my headlight too. See that? And that's, I don't want that, that's not good. So that's where a diode comes into play. So I'm going to take my diode and connect a diode to the resistor on this side. Okay, I know this is kind of a jumbled mess, but I got switch going into diode and to resistor. So I've got headlight and tail light. And I can switch on and off brake light, but when I turn off the headlights, all I have is brake light. So I have a resistor and a diode in this circuit. Make sense? Is that clear as mud? All right, where do I want this thing? I can go right in there. You need to be able to see it from, yeah, from about there. It's close enough, I'm just able, probably be able to eyeball it here. Start with one and then I'll put the other one in. That way I get it lined up, you know, this way. If you go through one side and then the other, it takes that burr off there for you. Okay, I got a round hole. Now I'm gonna take a file. I'm gonna cut this into a square so I can use a carriage bolt. All right, just making sure I got all this correct before I commit to anything. So, looks like this is gonna work. Let me uh, tidy this all up here and we'll see if we have lights. All right, got that all together. So I, I wrapped this resistor in heat shrink and did a loop because I don't want it to get damaged and I want to know right where it's at if I ever got to replace it. Right there's the diode. I do have to wrap all these wires and tape and get them all zip tied up but I'm not going to make you guys watch that. But it is all wired up so let me show you what I got. All right there's the tail lights and headlights and brake light. Yeah, I think that looks pretty slick. I really like that. Did put a wire connector right here, so if I ever got to unbolt the cage or whatever, I can just unplug it right there. All right. Well guys, that's all I got for you on this episode. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, consider subscribing, and I'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching.